Hello and welcome to another interesting episode of Know Your Faith series. I am Collins and today we will be talking about heavenly bodies. Now when we hear the term heavenly bodies, we often think that we are referring to the sun, the moon, the stars, uh, the planets and other celestial bodies. But in this case, we're referring to the beings in heaven, the um, angels and the spiritual beings. In 1 Corinthians 15 verse 39 to 40, it says, All flesh is not the same flesh. There is one kind of flesh of man, another of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. There is also heavenly bodies and earthly bodies, but the glory of the heavenly one is different, and that of the earthly is another. Now, what is he trying to um, explain is already, but the um, heavenly bodies that we're referring to here again still are the angels, um, the saints and other spiritual beings in heaven. Now, there is a misconception that this particular verse is also referring to the sun, the moon, and the stars. But no, this is referring to beings that are in heaven. Now, contrary to popular opinions, angels are not people who have died and gone to heaven to, you know, they've in their wings, no. Uh, they are, they, angels are purely spiritual beings, okay? However, saints are the humans who have died, won the race, and now in heaven with God. Um, however, people get confused when we refer to some angels as saints. For example, when we say um, Saint uh, Michael the Archangel, people start to ask questions as to why we're referring to an angel as a saint, when we normally refer to humans who have won the race as saints. However, it's just... Um, simple semantics because the term saint is gotten from the latin word sancta which means holy so by virtue anyone who is already in heaven is holy and so can be referred to as saints so it's simple angels are purely spiritual beings created from god created um, by god all right and while saints are humans who have won the race and are already in heaven so um a lot of theologians or people over the years have tried to uh, you know, calculate the number of angels we have, but um, St. Thomas Aquinas said that it is impossible as it is beyond human comprehension. However, there are certain things that we know, like um, how the angels are grouped into nine choirs. But in another episode of KYF, we'll be talking about the angels and their roles. So that's it for today, guys. Um, Let's just have it at the back of our mind that all the heavenly beings and even we that on earth here, we are a communion of the church. So we can always pray to them or pray through them for assistance. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and share this content. Until I come your way next time, be bold and be Catholic.